Today we're building a tilting welding fixture table. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like. This is what we're building. And this is what we're building it out of. I've been wanting to purchase this uh, little fixture table from Clutch for quite a while. It was on sale, so I picked one up. And then I had an idea. Hey, why not make it tilt? And right out of the box, I was pretty happy. This thing is pretty flat. Now, as you can see, it's definitely not as thick a table as a lot of other fixture tables, but for the price point, wow, what a deal. Okay, this is what it comes with in the box, the hardware that goes along with it. And on the outside, you can see the uh, table legs. We're not going to be using those. It also comes with these short legs that you can just sit on a table with the feet. There's the plans. Here we go. Laying out our cup marks. Tubing cut to length. I had a box of casters laying around. And two of them are locking. There it is. All right, let's assemble. And we're building the legs. And we're going to center on all these marks. Okay, let's get this thing assembled. And what I'm using here is a fireball tool square. If you haven't seen these, go check them out on YouTube, Facebook, uh, or just go to the site. Really, really handy. Clamp into place. It's pretty foolproof. Squares up the metal really nice. And just disclaimer always use rubber gloves when you're using acetone. That's what this is. It's always recommended. Okay, so we're cleaning all of this. Can't be too clean. You can see the uh, see the residue of the contaminants on the metal. TIG welding, clean, clean, then clean some more. Alright, first weld completed. And with that fireball square clamped into place, uh, we don't have to worry about distortion or that thing moving around. And just putting our casters on the bottom. I've already affixed the casters. Okay, time to make our mount. And now we have our semicircle. Going to rough cut that thing out. And finish it up. And this thing has a pretty nice uh, frame underneath of the fixture table. And it's uh, spot welded in a few places. And laying out our centering marks. I want to be accurate on that. 
and I really don't want to weld any studs or do any type of welding on this frame really don't want that thing to distort or anything crazy happening so we're just going to use a graded bolt to go through this and that's what we're after nice and parallel on the flush and I've angle cut the legs at the top and we're getting the assembly welded together And the welds are going to be visible on this, so I want to go ahead and TIG weld this instead of MIG welding it. And now we're prepping for paint. And I've color keyed all the equipment in the shop, or in the process of doing that. The theme is uh, blue and yellow, so it's going to be blue. I've always liked this color anyway. Really nice for shop equipment. And both legs are complete. And I've prepped and scotch brighted the underside. So we just want to carry out the theme. All right, let's get this thing assembled. And I'm using a wing nut, but I could just as easily use a uh, nylock nut. And now I'm gonna fabricate the center bar. And I don't want to weld the center bar to the legs. I want it removable. So I'm going to weld in a nut. And dress that down flat or flush lay out the same distance marks on both sides of the legs and drill through hole it's just a lot much nice cleaner look and it is still removable There it is. All right, first shot. Assembled. And I had a little project that I had this in mind for, for my first project. And I'm going to be welding up a hardtail section, or a Voodoo Chopper's hardtail section. And I'm going to be using this table. And the only thing I would say about this table is, you have to remember the price point. It's not super thick, so I wouldn't put a lot of heat on the base, uh, but for this purpose, I'm going to be welding towards the end or the top, and being able to tilt like this is really, really nice. If you like this video, go to our video page, check out all of our other videos on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching.